you didn't know I had it like that though, huh? What? Okay, so. Hello and welcome. I'm going to be building myself my own indie virtual production studio right here. But today, very exciting, what I'm going to be starting off with is an unboxing of a Rococo smart suit, which is an inertial mocap suit. So I just got it today. I'm going to start by taking the first box out here. Shiny black box here. What else is in here? We got a Rococo bag. I, I, would, I, I would use totes. I use totes. I'm going to put this over here. Oh, it comes with a hanger. Oh, sweet. Okay, so I actually I actually just brought my own hanger down here, but this is like a Rococo. It's like smooth matte rubber. And is this the suit? I don't know what this is. This is uh it looks like another bag. You know what? This might be like a garment bag. Like, I'm gonna open this up. Okay. And ooh, there it is. The Rococo suit. Okay, there it is. Uh, I'm gonna have to stand up, I guess. Okay, nice. You know, I honestly wish I had gotten uh in shape. <laughs> before this phase of, of my life where I'm gonna be like wearing a mocap suit all the time. Like these are, fair, this is like a fairly form-fitting suit and I am not <laughs> in shape. I, I got a treadmill, I don't use it enough and man, this is gonna be humbling to wear this all day. It looks like, I look like a Ghostbuster in this. But this is the, ro this is the mocap suit. Uh, it doesn't have the little balls on it like you might have expected. That's an optical tracker. This has the sensors basically built into it like into the suit itself. And it's kind of like the sensors in your phone that can sense movement. Uh, it's more that style. So it's a lot easier to set up. It's a lot less expensive. Uh, and thanks to Rococo for sending me this smart suit. I'm going to be using the crap out of this. Okay, so step one, unboxing. So this is the suit all laid out. Looks like someone melted here. Uh, this is the smart suit. I'm going to put it on in a second. That's the hanger for it. Uh, that's just like a regular bag, and I think this bag is specifically for carrying the suit around, so that's really nice. So, this is me in the suit. It's it's not too bad. It's not what I was, this is what I was worried about, the, the this area, but uh, let me say, I got the size correct on this. I forget what size it is, but this thing fits perfectly. It's made out of like a cool, like like nylon and mesh combo. It feels pretty cool to wear and I feel kind of like, I don't know. It, it feels cool to wear, which is, which is good because I thought I was going to feel really stupid in this thing. Uh, but I like it a lot. Uh, so this is what the suit looks like on. <laughs> Probably hard to tell in this wide shot, but the sensors are like built and pre-placed for you. I didn't have to like stick these on there. Uh, one's in here clearly. I think there's, I'm touching all the different sensors. Uh, you probably have to tighten these straps. There's like someone like your your thighs here There the foot ones like aren't attached again. I don't know if this is how you set it up or not This is just how far I've gotten at the moment literally the first time putting it on uh, And I think there's like a headband that comes out of the back that like tracks your head placement But I think I can like kind of do some stuff in this here. I'm gonna I'm gonna hurt myself right now ready Oh, you didn't know I had it like that though, huh? What? Okay, so Whew, just know most of the mocap for Cinetracer is gonna be me. Like me sitting here ready for this mocap session. I'm about to mocap this, ready? Okay, so I'm in the fabulous suit. We have not set it up yet, but just for like goals uh, to start, the first thing I wanna do is a series of really boring mocap animations for Cinetracer. So things like people sitting, people talking, people drinking or talking on the phone, stuff like that. It's really, it's really hard to animate. Uh, so I'm gonna just be trying to make a series of just like infinite loops for Cinetracer so that people can make people sit down, talk on the phone, right? Like over animate this stuff. Um, no facial animation yet. Uh, that's what we'll be doing. And then once I start to get that workflow down and exporting, cleaning up the animations and whatnot, we'll probably be using a combination of iClone, the Rococo software, maybe directly into Unreal Engine. Might need Motion Builder and Maya back to do some like retargeting, uh, make everything fit the Unreal Engine mannequin. Not sure just yet. Um, after I do those like traditional mocap animation workflows, then we'll do some live um, virtual character puppeting. So I can kind of bring it into Unreal Engine. This doesn't work in Cinetracer just yet. It might in the future, uh, but you can basically just live puppet those characters. So instead of having to choose, an, you know, some pre-selected animation you can just live puppet it, right? And you can even get the iPhone, which I have a dedicated iPhone for my face, and just do full performance capture, virtual production, that sort of stuff. So 
Uh, I think that's gonna kind of wrap up this very short vlog, but I'll give you a quick studio tour in the suit. Hopefully next time I'll have this up and running. Maybe it happens in this video, don't know. But let's do a quick tour. Okay, so we walk into the studio this way. Uh, this is the main section over here. And over here, this is just some storage and family stuff that needs to get cleaned up. A lot of film equipment, etc. This is currently the green screen setup. It's a very small streamer uh, Elgato backdrop, but it, it works. Uh, currently going to be using a Canon C300. This is my old C300. Has HD SDI out, does 1080, should be fine. And I've got a bunch of LED lights. Uh, shout out Aperture. Uh, I've got a whole bunch more apertures, a bunch of different lights coming in. Uh, I'll buy lights as I need. And eventually the thought, the thought is to make this a two-wall psych with a floor for some virtual production mixed reality stuff. We will see. I do have a drop ceiling. It's about nine feet-ish to it, so I can actually pop those out if I need to and put sensors up there, etc. It's a pretty good, pretty good house. I uh, scouted this house. My wife scouted it. Saw this basement studio, and I was like, Good. This is going to be good for the future. I don't know when, but the future. And this is the computer setup currently. It's where Cinetracer happens. Got the triple monitors. Uh, custom PC back there. Right? We're going to be switching out this Oculus Rift for a Vive, just because they have the Vive tracker. Everything for virtual production just kind of for Vive. A lot of wires. There's going to be so many wires for this stuff. This is for connecting an iPhone via Ethernet. Ah, uh, what are these? These are... Uh, HDMI cables and extenders, HD SDI stuff, we're gonna have more black magic things coming in. And over here is my mic, what up? Uh, the alpha wheels, that's not currently hooked up to anything here. And just some more hardware, bunch of graphics cards in there, bunch of laptops, American Cinematographer hauler. Um, for now, like I said, just to recap, uh, I'm gonna be working on Cinetracer half the time and I'm gonna be working on virtual production things the other half, including building out this studio. I have an HTC Vive coming, uh, and really working with Unreal Engine and traditional filmmaking tools and bringing them together uh, at an indie level, right? This is still gonna cost money, but it doesn't cost like millions of dollars like it used to. Uh, I am planning on going to GDC, so if you are going to GDC, you wanna meet up, uh, hit me up on Twitter, etc. And I'm loosely planning on going to NAB mostly to talk to some virtual production people and see some of the new hardware. So it's going to be a fun year. I'm going to vlog it for now. And when I get it all figured out, we'll be making like straight up tutorials as well. So that wraps up this first vlog. I'm excited. I'm in a mocap suit and I'll see you guys on the next video.